Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Python exercises. So today we're gonna do an exercise of average of two exam scores. What are we gonna do is we're gonna take two scores from the user, two grades or two scores from the user and we're gonna perform average of two numbers and we have to print. This is pretty 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 simple and we have to write a Python program. This will be a very useful exercise for the users and here I'm gonna introduce a new basic thing that we have to know and that is all about eval method uh, what it does is when the user gives input sometimes if we want integer value we will use int method right and if we want float we use float method right string we don't have to convert because the input implicitly whatever the input that we are getting from the user that will be in string and in order to convert that from string to integer we're going to use integer and sometimes float. It depends upon the value that we want. So what does eval do is if we use this method, we don't have to worry about the type of data that we are getting from the user. Whatever the type of data while performing, it will convert that particular data type to the type that we want. For example, if user is giving 12 as input and we know that implicitly the input that is given by the user will be in string. So what it does is it will just take that input and we'll use in Instead of integer or float methods, we'll just use eval method over there and it will take after some time if we want to add that 12 to some number. At the time, what this eval do is it will convert if we want given string to integer, it will convert it to integer. If you want float, it converts it to float. So you don't have to know the type of data that we want if we use this method. You don't have to worry about the type of variable that we are taking. So it doesn't matter whether you use integer or float. So don't worry about integer and float type of data. Just use eval method. So I'm going to use this eval method while taking inputs from the user and I'm going to implement this one in this particular exercise. I know that this exercise is pretty simple. All you need to do is to do average of two numbers and you have to just print. That's it, right? But here we have to follow some rules, especially for beginners. This will be a very good exercise for them to understand how the Python program exactly works. You will also know about variables. You also know about eval method and you'll know a lot new things if you do this exercise as a beginner. So let's go. We have to follow some tips in order to complete this exercise and yeah let's go yeah we just have three simple steps so all we need to do is to just get this course complete the average and print it you guys ready then open your vs code editor and code with me so here is the vs code that i have and i just gave the file name as average.py you can give the name as you want whatever you can even give avg.py if you feel it boring so let's start so first we need to get the scores and here we are computing the average of two numbers so let's take two scores from the user this will be score one comma score two Listen to me here. Here I'm going to use eval method and I also said how eval method exactly works. Now I'm going to show you practically. Okay. So here we have eval method and I'll take input from the user. And you guys also know the speciality of input, right? It will take input at the same time it will print the message that we want user to see, right? So here enter two scores separated by comma. Because we are taking the two scores at the same time and user don't know like how to give the score. So in order to help him or her, we have to give some message to them so that they can enter data the way we want. Okay, so enter, enter the enter two scores separated by comma. yeah now user will read this message and he will understand and he'll get scores with comma and done now what are we gonna do we have two scores now this eval will convert it to integer because we need to add two scores and in order to add them obviously we'll take integers in order to do average we have to do score one plus score two by two right that's pretty simple so average equal to score one plus score 2 by 2 but you have to be careful while doing this because if you if you don't give brackets here what it will do is it will do score 2 by 2 and it will add score 1 here this is not the calculation that we want right so 
we're gonna keep brackets so that it will first add score one and score two and it will do average done i hope you guys are getting my point and yeah we are done and now we have to print the average let's see just print so print the average of two two scores or the score whatever we need output and that must be an average of two numbers scores is average yeah done we we took student scores we computed and we print now let's save it let's run this code okay 10 comma 20 let's see score 1 is 10 score 2 is 20 and let's run it uh yeah 10 plus 20 by 2 it will be 30 by 2 and we'll get 15.0 so that's the average and now if you observe at this stage we need float number so what eval does is it will just take these two things as integers and if you do float because here we are adding and while dividing we need a float number so what eval does is it will change the type of the data according to things that we have to do so you don't have to worry about the type of data if you use eval method so yeah that's all for today and i'll be back with one more interesting exercise and yeah if you like the video then hit that cute little like button and if you're new to this channel then subscribe to my channel for further updates of girl coder we are also active on instagram please do go and follow there